Hello everyone, I'm Hunter, this is Unexpected History, and today we cover the worst maritime disaster in U.S. history. On the 25th of April, 1865, a sidewheel paddle steamboat exploded, sinking her near Memphis, Tennessee. The SS Sultana regularly plied the Mississippi River between St. Louis and New Orleans from 1863 when she launched to her sinking in 1865. Built with a designed capacity of 376 passengers, on the 25th, she was far, far overloaded with 2,137 people, most of them paroled Civil War prisoners. Because her boilers required constant care, particularly with their water levels, and because those water levels were poorly maintained that day, three of the four boilers exploded, crippling the vessel. Some of those on board died instantly, including everyone in the pilot house, which was completely obliterated in the explosion, or were crushed when the portside smokestack collapsed onto the grossly overcrowded foredeck. They were arguably the lucky ones. Most, however, drowned in the flooded and swift-moving river, or from hypothermia. The bodies of many victims were found as far away as Vicksburg, Mississippi, even months later. Some were never found. At least 1,168 people died that day. Most people, including myself, have never heard of this event as it was overshadowed in history by the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln, which occurred less than two weeks earlier. The last survivor of the SS Sultana, a Confederate soldier named Charles M. Eldridge, died in 1941 at the age of 96, more than 76 years after the disaster.